Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little compilation video. I've taken my top 10 Poundland DIYs that I've ever done on this channel and I've kind of edited them down a little bit better because let me tell you something, the editing style was really cringy on some. Some of them were privatised, some of them I just... I don't know what I was thinking. So I've taken my top 10 and just put them in today's video and hopefully you enjoy it. All of these kind of DIYs are transferable still with items that are available in Boundland. So I would recommend going in there and have a little look still, even though some of these DIYs are quite a few years old now, um, they are still able to be made. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed today's video and I'm just gonna get started with the first one. So the first DIY is actually the first DIY I ever did on this channel and it was of me transforming these cheap kind of red looking Noel lights into more of a metallic metal like finish. So what I did was I made sure that they were all working and everything because I didn't want to make you know a difference and then it didn't work. So I made sure they were all working, installed all the batteries, then just kind of lightly sanded it and buffed it so that the paint could stick to the surface. Once I had done that I taped off the little bulbs and then I just sprayed it using Rust-Oleum spray paints so these are in the gunmetal shade and just the bright silver shade and I just kind of made that a little bit patchy just like kind of normal rustic kind of metal would be to make it even more rustic I actually went in with like um, a multitude of different paint brushes and different kind of shades of acrylic paint so I used black a really really dark brown and this red toned brown just to kind of like add like almost like rust to the actual end finish the end product just to kind of make it look just to look a little bit more rustic we have quite a rustic um like theme of a christmas decor going on in our front room and yeah i just really really like these so i still have these i put them up in the window still i really really like them i did do one final last step as you can see here using the sharpie pen just because there was a little bit of red plastic at the back so i just touched that up a little bit so this is the before there with the red lights and this is the after this is still where i put mine and yeah that's what they look like from the back Moving on to the second DIY, this one here I also still have and I just made these little mini wreaths. So I used this kind of wreath, make your own wreath like garland type thing from Poundland. They still sell this, I've definitely seen it in there this year because I've got it on camera. Um, but yeah, you can just kind of use this, cut it in half and then make a loop with like that half. And then just kind of wrap the rest of the half around it. Do you know what I mean? So take the garland, cut it in half, make a loop with kind of a little bit of it, and then with the rest of the half, you can just kind of wrap that around and thicken it up. I added a little kind of loop to mine using this stripy ribbon. I added a bow onto that just from some extra kind of, you know, interest and once that was done my wreaths were then complete so i did four of these in total using two garlands to make the four wreaths they do look a little bit um sad but i think i'm going to actually use these in a diy this year maybe like bulk them out with some real foliage and use them for reef bases so yeah i thought i would include that one for the third DIY today, I'm actually just going to be taking a little ornament, and this is a really, really simple one, just hot gluing that down into a jar. This jar here I also got in Poundland as well as the um, snowman, and I just kind of hot glued that down to the bottom, and then I added in like a little bottle brush tree, I added in some fake snow and stuff, and just kind of made like a little scene in the jar. So this jar is actually one from like the garden section of the christmas stuff you know here you get like outdoor a bit sometimes um but that actually already had the lights and stuff in it like attached to the lid so the battery pack was in the lid but if you can't get hold of that then you could still do this they sell the little kind of wired fairy lights in there and you can use those in the jar and just turn them on how cute is that okay diy number four this one here was a definite winner this one here was from last year i love it i still have this and along with a whole other load of nutcrackers but basically whenever i see a cheap nutcracker now i just want to give it a little help in hand so i actually have obviously all these are on full video but i will be leaving all the videos down in the description but i just stripped this little guy back pulled all the fur off removed all the hot glue repainted him and he was a good in like honestly i have a couple of these on my desk right now you'll see them in the intro and outro of this video they turned out perfectly their color scheme matches like all my other little fun colored bits and yeah i had an absolute ball making these and turning them into kind of really cute little nutcrackers especially ones from poundland because look one pound and you got this cute nutcracker if this was in like a fancy store at anthropology let's face it it would literally cost you about 10 12 pounds for a little one and yeah one pound that cost 
uh, this is why I love Poundland DIYs so yeah all of these DIYs will be down in the description unless I've put them private which a few of them I have so you've got a few exclusives in this video anyway so yeah that's the before and after of the Nutcracker but moving on to another little rustic DIY I really like this one because it was just like quite a quick and easy one that you can also do to like existing baubles I thought it'd be a nice little bit of inspiration so I took these polystyrene balls which I found in the craft section in Poundland just cut up little strips of hessian for some just add them on with a little bit of glue from a hot glue gun from the top and the bottom of the strips in order to seal in like the little rough ends I also used a whole load of mod podge just kind of really put it in there and really pushed it down and that sealed it all into place for a couple of other little polystyrene balls I also just used twine so I just kind of hot glued that as I went sticking it down twining it down that gave a really nice rustic effect and I also did the same which I did with the hessian ones where I used fabric and that kind of gave a different rustic feel again as you can see there I also added like bows and stuff on and I just think they turned out really really nicely and is a great way to kind of like upcycle already existing baubles if you have some left over this year or something or you're changing up your theme I don't know I thought it would be a fun one to include so another DIY another rustic kind of farmhouse style one I had this Santa stop here sign it was so 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 glittery but here's some tips get a nail file a cheap nail file rub it off as much as you can to seal in all of that glitter you could just use a good layer of mod podge put it on seal it in and then go ahead and paint afterwards so with mine i did actually still have a little bit of texture but i was printing out these kind of like words and a bit of text and stuff on a piece of um tracing paper anyway i just literally put this in my printer kind of fed it in it's just an a4 piece of tracing paper and printed out just like i usually would i left that dry around about for an hour so that like you know the ink and stuff wouldn't smear and i just used another load of um mod podge and just kind of like pop that on over the top so it kind of covered the texture anyway so it was fine I then painted on some texture so it looked like they were like kind of wood planks even though it was just a kind of you know flat base but I felt like this just definitely added some texture and some rusticness to it again um, and I just went in with the acrylics and just added loads of different brush marks and a pen and lines and yeah, that that bit's a little bit self-explanatory but i added this twine glued all that on with my famous little glue gun i will link the glue gun down below the one that i always use and that was the sign look at that so cute so rustic so different you might prefer the original one but i really really like this for that year don't think i have this one anymore because it was a bummer to absolutely you know um put in my decor cupboard and store that's the one i'm looking for it was a bummer to store so hard so i don't think i have that one anymore but yeah i did really really like it at the time moving on to this DIY. oh my goodness this one here was really really fun i did actually end up selling these at a craft fair but i basically just took some paint brushes the premium ones with the wooden handles painted them up i chose these ones because of the color of the bristles like they weren't black ones i added on loads of different bits of felt and wool felt kind of trim painted on some eyes took one of those little bauble hook thingies and then i kind of twirled that round to make some glasses i covered that in with like um a gold rustoleum like leafing pen so it looked all gold and shiny hot glued that down like on top of a little bonbon -bon for a nose and look at that you got little santa brushes <laughs> i love these i thought these were so fun and it's definitely a really fun diy to do like with kids and stuff um but yeah really really like that so for the eighth diy for today's video i wanted to show you the bottle brush trees that i did last year um really really simple diy but really really effective really love this i still kept all of the bottle brush trees from this video but basically i just bleached a load of dark ones that i picked up for really cheap in poundland these ones here were like in a pack of five i think for a pound and as you can see there like the color changes literally just within seconds like literally right in your eyes like <laughs> right front your eyes just to say um yeah look at that like changing color so i actually bleached these and the way that i did bleach them was i used um the astonish mold um blaster spray mold remover you know the green and the blue one i actually got one recently from cherries that was gifted to me um, but this was filmed a good year ago and yeah i always buy this but honestly like this spray was perfect for this because like the bleach is already kind of 
watered down and yeah worked out great i also did it on this darker one here which was like one of those fiber optic ones um i just removed all the little bits from the bottom like the electric battery pack bits and i just bleached this back the dye in this was slightly more like black gray toned rather than green but it came out really really easily with the astonish as you can see um once i had bleached them and was happy with the color i then rinsed them really really thoroughly and then dried them with a hair dryer um but for some of them i did actually dye them so i took this dylon kind of dye and i took a pink one <laughs> and i ended up just sitting it in like a jar with that dye and some salt rinse that off hair dried that and then once that was dry they turned out like bright pink they were awesome so yeah that's what they look like bleached and dyed and yeah you can just have a bunch of fun with this honestly it saves you a fortune and yeah i, I just love that i mean apparently i'm loving everything at this point but still <laughs> that's why they made my top 10 for number nine these are in no particular order by the way i actually just like pimped out this little chopping board um poundland do have these chopping boards in again this year but they're actually much thicker so like the quality of them has improved i just painted it white painted on gingerbread man added some details around the edges added some details onto the gingerbread man and i displayed it on the fireplace in the kitchen it's a great diy to do really simple and easy one and obviously you can do this at your own leisure just watching i don't know i'm a celeb watching a christmas movie or something and you could just have a little painted kind of chopping board i really like using kit where um and having that painted and stuff as decor pieces and using it in the kitchen so that's why this one here made my top 10 um the last diy i have number 10 is actually just this little jar diy just because i wanted to show you what you can do with the bottle brush trees so i actually use salt in place of fake snow again and the little trip you can use salt <laughs> um you can also use sugar but salt seems to be cheaper so i just use salt that was actually from poundland again just showing you there quickly that i bleached the trees in the exact same way as mentioned as before and i just kind of like styled them up in the jar there added some twine on a little label and that's what this turned out like i think it's a great little centerpiece can add a little touch to like a little like tv stand like i said in the middle of the table as a centerpiece but yeah really really love that and i love the little mix of the trees in there really cheap and simple and just from poundland <laughs> and that is the end of today's video i hope you have enjoyed it let me know which one of the 10 was your favorite whether or not you've seen any of these before on my channel um if you've been making any poundland diys if you've seen anything in there that you think that maybe i should have a little go and redecorate or diy or whatever but yeah i would love to hear from you down in the comments thank you so much for watching and i will see you very soon for another video bye